Welcome everyone! In this video, we are in the Ultra League, showcasing another very powerful team featuring Gliscor! Gliscor as a part of one of my favorite cores to run in the Open Ultra League, that being Gliscor and Obama Snow. Gliscor, quite, quite uh, interesting in this meta, very strong, uh, counters the Steel types beautifully, and also on this team, Surfetched on the safe swap. Surfetched, those of you who tune into the channel regularly know how fond of Surfetched I am. This Pokemon is so versatile, very squishy, so you do have to prioritize shields for it when necessary. Uh, but my goodness, is it powerful. But uh, And also on this team, we've got Obama Snow. As I mentioned earlier, Obama Snow on the lead. One of my favorite Pokemon to pair with Gliscor because they provide excellent coverage to each other. Uh, Obama Snow very much slept on. If you don't have one, I would highly recommend getting one because it has a lot of coverage in the Ultra League. I've got to say, after running all three of these Pokemon, I am very, very pleased with investing in all three. And here we go. Awful lead. We had a Steelix. We make a play into our Surfetched, and they counter swap us with a Toxicroak. So what we're going to do here is fake a Brave Bird. We are well past the Brave Bird, but they absolutely have to respect it if they want to win Switch. And they do. Shielding up the Leaf Blade bait. They had no idea. So this is just the Mud Bomb. Gonna let this go. We do survive the Mud Bomb and hope like heck we can make it to that Leaf Blade and we do. I don't imagine this will get the second shield as they probably are aware that we no, lo no, lo no longer uh, suspicious of a Brave Bird. They do take us out. That Leaf Blade did some considerable resisted damage and now this is one of the few circumstances where I would advocate revealing your third. They go for the resistant Sludge Bomb that does resisted damage and we are farming that thing all the way down. Leaving with a shield advantage, and they reveal their third, bringing in a Drapion onto our Gliscor. Going for this EQ and grabbing the final shield. That is fine. Uh, they built up to Aqua Tail, so we do have to shield this. That would do uh, some considerable super effective damage, and we will outpace to this EQ. Holy smokes, Gliscor! Pop it off in the Ultra League. You absolutely love to see it. We say bye bye to the Drapion. Oh my goodness, Gliscor going on a rampage here. They uh, bring in their final Pokemon coming in the form of Steelix. Quite tanky, going to shield up the Crunch here. Gliscor has got some heavy lifting to do. Holy smokes, going for this EQ here. I knew that it wouldn't quite KO, but I knew it would come very close to KO and getting them into the low red. And now I suspect all we will need is this Night Slash to seal the deal. Maybe maybe an additional wing attack as Steelix is about as tanky as it gets. One wing attack does the trick. Gliscor basically going to 1v3. That is absolutely insane taking out two and a half Pokemon. Good game, well played. Holy smokes, how about Gliscor in that last battle? That was insane. And here we go, picking up the dream lead. Speaking of Gliscor, we had a Shadow Gliscor on the lead. They swap into a Cobalion, and we meet this with our Surf Etched here. Uh, gonna shield this uh, Sacred Sword. It doesn't KO, but it does uh, get us low. And we will fake another Brave Bird here. We've got them below 50% health. They absolutely have to respect a potential Brave Bird, and they do. That is beautiful. So now we are just going to look to play out the two shield if uh, if necessary. I know it's going to be very close because these double kicks with stab are really starting to add up. Going for another leaf blade, although resisted, Surfetch hits like a truck, and we grab the final shield that would have uh, taken them out. So they are hoping like heck that this sacred sword here will KO. I knew that it would not. We do survive by a slither. The question is, can we farm down? We do. We win that by one turn. That was insane. And we're able to get this leaf blade off, getting tremendous value out of Surfetched. Doing some nice neutral damage there to the Gliscor. And now we can align our Obama Snow back onto the Gliscor. Going for the Weather Ball. We 100% take this thing out. Bye-bye, Gliscor. And now we will see what they have. A jealous sense that they were core broken by Obama Snow. Guys, I'm telling you, uh, it's definitely well worth the investment. Obama Snow. A lot of teams are core broken by this thing. It has a lot of coverage on the current Ultra League meta. If you don't have one or if you've got one that you haven't built, please do consider building it. Very valuable Pokemon to have right now. And we got a little greedy. 
here. We're trying to get to this energy ball. We're one powder snow off. I'm hoping we live this hex and we just cannot live that hex, but it's okay. I think Glyscore can clean this up for us. These wing attacks are absolutely shredding through this jealous in here. We will survive this surf, of course. We survive one of any move from Jellicent and gonna go for the Night Slash here, which will 100% seal the deal, allowing us to say bye-bye to the Jellyfish and Gliscor. Cleaning up the end game in dominant fashion with an assist from a bomb of snow. Good game, well played. This Gliscor team was absolutely putting in the work in the Ultra League. I had a fun time with it for reasons like this, guys. I cannot stress this enough. Obama Snow is a very tricky lead for most Ultra League teams. We had a Trevenant. They swap in a Charizard. So what we have to do is sort of uh, employ a team effort here up against this Charizard. Going to try and fire off two Weather Balls on the CMP here. This could absolutely be a Blast Burn. Going to shield that up. And it is the Blast Burn. They're going for the Jugular. And they do live this next Weather Ball here. Uh, so they don't have to shield, but they do. So now it's Gliscor time. Uh, we effectively can KO this in a Night Slash plus these Wing Attacks. Not willing to go down two shields. So uh, we will tank this Blast Burn. Gliscor quite bulky. Tanks that quite comfortably. And now we can over farm a little bit and go for the Night Slash here. Um, I doubt that they, sh yeah, they don't shield. Um, so yeah, that Trevenant has very few places to go with this team. We have two excellent answers to it, and Surfetch can put in work as well. Gonna fire off this Night Slash. They can definitely let this go, and they do. Um, but I, yeah, I don't think they should be trying to farm us down. We're going, <laughs> they're allowing us to get to another Night Slash here. Uh, would be getting them quite low, and we grab the final shield there. Going for that aggressive farm down, holy smokes. So they absolutely have a potential Shadow Ball locked and loaded for us. Not sure what they could have in the back. A Bomb of Snow could uh, prove to be valuable, so we do uh, shield that. It's, and a Bomb of Snow was not valuable. What is valuable is Surfetched in the Zero Shields versus this Reggie Rock that we are staring at right here going for this Leaf Blade. It would not KO. I knew that. What I, I, I also knew that a Focus Blast wouldn't quite KO. I just didn't know how low it would get us, and that is beautiful. They cannot lock on down. We will win this race and leave with a Night Slash for that Trevenant. We've got this Night Slash. My goodness, I'm telling you guys, this team was putting in the work. We get to this. We are saying bye-bye to the Trevenant. And just like that, Surfetch has come in clutch, closing the game strong. Good game. Well played to them. I gotta say, I had about as much fun as one can have in the Ultra League with this team here. And here we go, Cresselia, a very neutral lead. Uh, so we're gonna stay here. We don't have any uh, obvious answers to it. It really does take a team effort with a Pokemon as bulky as Cresselia. And we are just going straight Weather Ball here. It is more energy efficient and both moves hit for neutral, so. And at the time, I just elected to go straight Weather Ball, and they will add up slowly but surely against the very tanky Cresselia here. And we are quite bulky ourselves, not nearly as bulky as Cresselia, but bulky enough to tank a potential Future Sight. And they did go straight for Future Sight. A lot of Future Sight Cresselias running around the Ultra League these days, going for another Weather Ball here. Honestly, I had not looked up this matchup. I wasn't sure if we should just be going straight Weather Ball, but it is, it's putting in work. I know either way, uh, it, we do have a very narrow victory in the zeros, and we were fine. Uh, soft losing lead there, and going to come in with Sir Fetched here. Going to shield up the potential, um, well, I think this was a Grass Knight. I wasn't quite counting as I'm uh, commentating here. But I knew that we would have to shield one move and gonna fire off this Night Slash here and see what they want to do. They should take the shield advantage and let it go, but they don't. And we know that this is just a Grass Knot, so we don't have to shield this. Um, and we can actually farm down Cresselia with resisted counters with stab from our Surfetched. And that is a big obstacle out of the way. But they've got a Alolan Muck. We come in with Gliscor and they've got a Scrafty in the back. So this is doable. It's going to be very close, but very much doable here. Going to fire off the EQ on Scrafty. Not going for double resisted uh, Night Slash baits. Because if they call it like they did there, it is quite devastating for us. And we will shield up the foul play. We know that they will make it to another one, but we need to farm this thing down to Funky Town here and have some energy to threaten that Alolan Muck. 
Gliscor once again having to do some very heavy lifting in the Ultra League here, and we do get this farm down. Leaving with an EQ, we have to bait. They still have a shield. Have to get this bait, have to bait successfully in order to pull this off. We do, and I do believe we need to make a catch. They were five off. We know that, and we catch right here on the surf fetch. This was forced. They, uh, we were making it to the same move or to the move at the same time, and we do lose CMP tie. I do believe against Alola Muck. Doesn't matter. We made the catch. We're saying bye bye, just about. <laughs> and good game, well played to them. Lie score, I must admit, it's a bit pricey, but as we can see, well worth the investment. Very solid Pokemon, and here we go. Positively, we have Venusaur, they make a play into Greedent, and we align Surfetch onto this normal type Greedent here. The problem with Greedent is, although it's at a type disadvantage, it is extremely bulky and very spammy. It gets to these body slams with Stab quite fast. So we're gonna go for this Leaf Blade here. We do tank one Body Slam, and we did. They will make it to a second one, um, and we cannot tank a second one as Surfetched. Not known for its bulk. Um, and I didn't want to mess around with a farm down. It looks like we could have definitely gotten the farm down, but we elect just to get rid of it and control the alignment here. Um, we've got two excellent answers to this Venusaur. Going to fire off this Night Slash here on what would have been a CMP, but they, it looks like they're going to go for an aggressive farm down here, really wanting to load up on energy to threaten our Obama Snow as Venusaur can fight back with Sludge Bombs. And we know that this Venusaur is absolutely loaded. So what we're going to do here is throw one and catch on the Gliscor, hoping to catch the Sludge Bomb, hoping that they are not baiting with a Frenzy plant. And they were baiting with the Frenzy. Uh, that's annoying. But we do tank it like a champ, and they come in with a Tapu Fini. So... We're up against it here a little bit. Gonna fire off this EQ and hopefully start grabbing some shields. Uh, get the, oh, they don't shield, that's fine. We'll take that, that's fine. These wing attacks are hitting for neutral damage and they are forced to throw as they don't want their Tapu Fini to get too low here. But they do still have some residual energy, so we do need to keep that in mind. Gonna look to just overload as much as we can here and go for a weather ball. I knew that wouldn't quite KO from this range, uh, but the additional powder snows would allow us some additional farm. And we are gonna let this moon blast go. We know that that Venusaur has some loaded energy and we have to save the shield for that here. Gonna overload as much as we dare and go for the weather ball here and see what they wanna do. They might be banking on that Venusaur and they are, they do let that go. That is beautiful. And now all we need is the back-to-back -back weather ball. All we have to do is shield up this potential move here. It doesn't matter what the move is. It is the sludge bomb. And we have the back-to-back. -back. They will not make it to another move in time. I do imagine this one gets the shield. They are looking to go down with the ship. And that is exactly what will happen for them. Because we've got another weather ball. We are saying bye-bye to the Venusaur. And Obama Snow coming in clutch in the end. Doing the heavy lifting. Closing the game strong. Good game. Well played. Oh, I've had this Gliscor even before the wing attack buff. I had this thing for a while, and it has served me very, very well. And here we go. Uh, beautiful lead. We've got a Giratina. This is the power of Obama Snow in the Ultra League. Core breaks a lot of teams. Wins lead a lot. They make a play into a Cresselia. They tried to catch a Weather Ball, but we held on expecting that, and we chip with an Energy Ball, and we dip into our Gliscor here. Needed that chip damage. Um... Cresselia is just such a beast. This thing is extremely bulky. It is insane how bulky this thing is. But uh, we all know that by now with Cresselia. We do tank the Future Sight. Oh, my goodness, so many Future Sight Cresselias. I guess Charizard in the meta has prompted the switch to Future Sight. We don't know what the other move is. If they go Future Sight, it's usually Moon Blast, but it, they could have Legacy Grass Knot as they are going straight Future Sight here. So we're just going to overload a little bit, get it within Night Slash range here. We have the back-to-back, -back and we threw one before the potential Grass Knot. So if they shield, we should be able to CMP tie them, but they catch it on the Giratina as we get the boost. Holy smokes, Gliscor, so good. Doing half of Giratina's health, that is insane. Um, and we tank a move here. 
And that's fine. We won't make it to another one, but we do decide to not risk it and get farmed down. We throw a bomb of snow back in because they have locked themselves in here. And gonna look to take out this Giratina because although Surfetch can fight back, it is still a very difficult Pokemon for Surfetch to go up against. Uh, with that extreme ball very bulky team in general from our opponent going for the weather ball and grabbing a shield holy smokes what is in the back they're shielding this low health giratina here uh, we knew that a dragon claw wouldn't ko and uh, we elect just to take out the giratina here as i'm predicting there's a gra there's got to be a grass type in the back there's no reason and they do have a grass type coming in the form of venusaur here so just going to overload a bit and go for this weather ball here it'll do big uh, super effective damage to the venusaur and gonna throw gliscor in to force them to throw there they cannot farm down from this range that's the beauty of having a bulky pokemon like gliscor forcing them to throw and now it is all up to surfetched here we know that that crescent we don't know what the second move on that crest is and i had a sneaking suspicion they had legacy grass knot so we have to let this go doesn't ko does big damage but we do get the farm down and leave with the move had to save a shield could not shield that frenzy um just because that could have made the game a lot harder than it was and we do take out the chrysalia there courtesy of a night slash that's going to be a good game well played to our opponent i'm telling you guys if there is any league that will test your skill and will it is absolutely the ultra league in pokemon go holy smokes and here we go uh defense for deoxys oh man people are still running this thing i don't know why I really don't know why. I don't see too many upsides in running it, but here we are up against one here. Uh, core breaks the team quite a bit. Our best answer is Gliscor, but we can hang in here a little bit. They are running Rock Slide. That is highly recommended if you are going to run Deoxys here. Going to go for the Energy Ball and hope like heck we can get a Defense Drop here. That would be really nice. And we do get the Shield, so very nice, very interesting. We are now even on Shields here. And we do elect to double shield here. We've got to put in some work on this Deoxys. They go for a Psycho Boost and dip into a Reggie Steel. And we had an excellent answer in the form of our Gliscor. The problem is, is that we, one, we have no shields, which we don't really need against Reggie Steel. But we don't have any for our Sir Fetch. That's the problem. Um, and uh, they do go for the Zap Cannon. They're going to fire off this EQ here. It won't quite KO, even though it does have Stab, as Registeel is so bulky. So many bulky Pokemon in the Ultra League, my goodness. And uh, we do live two Zap Cannons. Uh, they're going to have to throw a third. We did get the attack drop, so we're not quite going to be able to go Night Slash plus Wing Attacks at this point. They will make it to another move in time. So forced to go for the EQ. And they've got an Umbreon in the back. What an insanely bulky team. This is absolutely insane. Um, I'm going to go for this EQ here. Uh, it's not looking great for our Surfetched. We're throwing a Bomb of Snow in to entice them to throw and try and get off what damage we can. The problem is, is that that Deoxys is still relatively healthy. So we're going to go for the Energy Ball here. We need all the damage we can get. But it's not looking too good for us, unfortunately. Uh, they just outbulked us a little bit with this team here. Gonna go for the weather ball. They catch it on the Deoxys. So at this point, I'm thinking maybe we have a shot here. Um, we're gonna throw Gliscor in to try and make it to a Night Slash, hoping that they try to farm down. But no, they throw the energy. It's going to be a Psycho Boost and going to try our very best to make it to a Night Slash here. I do believe we will on the CMP. We do get it on the CMP. And I think that Umbreon is just way too healthy, way too much energy on it. They farmed for days on our Obama Snow. Yeah, they've got energy for days here. And they just need two last resorts to take us out. They are one Snarl off from it. And uh, yeah. Just too bulky, guys. They outbulked us. We tried our best, made it as close as we could, but could not quite get that one done. Good game, well played to them. 
The bulk on that last team was absolutely off the charts. But here we go, making up for it with a positive lead coming in the form of Giratina. They make a play into Cresselia on the safe swap. So we're going to play this the same way we did with that previous team. We're going to throw the energy ball to chip the Cresselia down. And then we will dip into our Gliscor here to play this out. Uh, we tank one of whatever they throw. We actually tank a couple of whatever they throw. Like I said, Gliscor quite bulky in the Ultra League. It is Future Sight. Another Future Sight. Cresselia's, what is that, three in this video already? Very interesting to see. And they're not running Legacy Grass Knot, so um, that's good to know. I don't think it'll make a difference here. Going to fire off the EQ here. It doesn't quite KO. But we'll be getting them quite low, low enough for us to farm down, and we do tank a Moonblast from this range, so we will let this go. And uh, leave this matchup at a shield disadvantage, but with loaded energy, and they get the attack drop. What the heck? Oh, that was annoying. Uh, gonna go for the EQ here on the Giratina. You generally want to go for EQ on Giratina, and then uh, you can Night Slash it once it gets low enough. We bring in a Bomb of Snow and they aggressive swap into a Melt Metal. You don't see too many of these these days in the Ultra League. Still has tons of uh, decent play, uh, but it has fallen off quite a bit. So, of course, we are in on this with our Surf Fetched. Going for the Night Slash here. It will not quite KO, but it will be getting them low enough for us to farm down. Uh, they hit us with a Rock Slide. We let it go. And I'm sure this is the superpower, and I'm hoping we live it. We do live it. That was amazing. Even if we didn't, we could have farmed down. But my goodness, that is just icing on the cake. Surfetch hanging on by a thread long enough to get some meaningful, super effective damage in on that Giratina. And they are not shielding anything in this matchup. It's it's lights out for them. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's why you got to use your shields. We have them for a reason. It's for you to use them in the battle because you cannot take them with you to the next battle. Our trainer is about to find that out the hard way. We are just farming it straight down. And they go down with two shields. Unfortunate for them. Worked out beautifully for us, guys. That is the team. Um, yeah, this team put in a lot of work. Had a lot of fun with it. More fun than I've had in a long time in the Ultra League. So Gliscor and Obama Snow make for a very strong core in the Ultra League. They cover each other's weaknesses quite well. Uh, Obama Snow covers Gliscor's weakness to water. And ice to an extent doesn't resist ice but most of the ice types are ice waters and a bomb of snow has coverage there and you round out that strong core um well gliscor protects a bomb of snow from the steel types as well which is what makes them very strong and you round that out with a reliable safe swap like surf etched and that is a recipe for a lot of success but guys i had a blast i hope you all enjoyed as always i thank you for watching and keep up the grind thank you guys